of each contributor. Since this month, I have been through my reviews for past February films. Here is my review for 2004's The Passion of the Christ. Now, The Passion of the Christ premiered, literally premiered on this exact same day, um, on February 25th, 2004, and was directed by Mel Gibson, and it was very controversial of its release and its depiction of pretty much of the uh, of the downfall of you know, Jesus Christ. Anyway, now the film of course stars Jim Caviezel who you know, portrays the role of Jesus and Jim Caviezel is great as the role of Jesus. You know, he really embodied the role. The makeup they used on him was terrific. I mean, I'm going to put it this way. This film is, is a controversial film, you know? When it got released, it was very, very controversial um, about, like, the uh, violent torture of Jesus Christ and all. Of course, it was directed by Mel Gibson, who at the time, of course, had his uh, downfall and all. But despite his down, his, Mel Gibson's downfall, Mel Gibson is a terrific director. You know, he, of course, gave his great part uh, in nights, like, in the early 90s. You know, uh, he re- well, not so long ago, he directed Hacksaw Ridge, which was great. But The Passion of the Christ is a really awesome film. You know, it's a very hard watch. I, I mean, I, you know, this is literally a film I rarely watch over and over. And I've probably seen this film only a few times, and that's really it. It's not that easy um, to watch. But The Passion of the Christ is still a pretty good film. You know, uh, it ended up becoming one of the highest grossing R.A. films of all time. Until Deadpool came out, then that's a different story. I mean, remember the uh, Deadpool uh, moment in, uh, <laughs> in Deadpool, uh, where he was like, uh, t- you know, joking about uh, about uh, you know, Passion of the Christ and all that. But anyway, about how much uh, Passion of the Christ made. Anyway, uh, Passion of the Christ. Of course, there is actually um, supposed to be doing you know, like a sequel called a Resurrection, uh, Resurrection or something. I forgot the actual uh, title. Or, uh, Passion of Christ Resurrection. I still don't know how you do a sequel to this, but anyway. Uh, that aside, it also had some really interesting uh, castles here, too. Like, you had uh, Monica Bellucci, who was uh, terrific in this. And of course, she portrayed the role of uh, Mary, you know, the mother of Jesus. Uh, you also had, uh, I mean, uh, Monica Bellucci played Mary Magdalene, I said. And, uh, Ma- Maya uh, Morgan Stern portrayed the role of Mary. Uh, yeah, but the thing to this is really is of course a film about uh, you know hope, love, and uh, faith, and forgiveness in mankind. And the message is it also has like a uh, message um, as well. Uh, anyway, now this they course, done lots of films about Jesus, you know, um, there's been so many actors who have portrayed the role of Jesus Christ over the years, but to me, the best um, on-screen portrayal of Jesus has got to be Jim Caviezel. He is so good um, as a role of, uh, you know, as a role of Jesus. And this film, of course, uh, you know, was shot in um, Italy, and the, the uh, location, by the way, looked pretty beautiful. Uh, it also has a really solid, uh, you know, music score. Uh, this and the, like I said, the box office was pretty solid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Patch of the Christ, like the scenes when, uh, you know, when Jesus ends up getting tortured, is a really hard, um, hard scene to watch. I mean, yeah, and of course, this, like scene where he ends up getting nailed to the cross. I mean. Like I said, this movie is not an easy watch, but it's still a pretty good film, uh, with great performances from Jim Caviezel and all. Uh, it is a little bit of a long film. I mean, it's not like, uh, Ten Commandments long or anything, but it's still a tad bit long. But, uh, anyway, if you guys have never really, like, uh, you know, seen Passion of Christ, I'm not sure where you can find it on. I want to see. Uh, you can actually find, find it on Pluto TV, uh, you can find it on, um, yeah, mainly find it on Blue TV. It has some 49% rise in too. That's interesting there. Uh, yeah, 
or you can find it on uh, Amazon. It's a pretty interesting uh, site you can find this on. But uh, anyway, if uh, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ? If so, watch the story of it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.